Paul Thomas, Executive Director of the Seneca Lake Wine Trail, here with Jan Van Allen at White Springs Winery, where she is tasting room manager, as well as Glass Factory Brew House here on the same location. Good afternoon, or good morning, Jan. Hello, Paul. So tell me, if you would, a little bit about White Springs Winery, the background, when you guys came into being, and, and, and everything about it. White Springs Winery was started by Carl Friblin. In 2003, he planted some grapes on his farmland to help with soil erosion. He planted 13 acres of grapes, and we now have 40 acres of grapes. In 2006, he opened the tasting room here in November, and in 2013, we opened the Glass Factory Brew House, so we have beer and wine tasting offerings. And for folks who don't know, uh, Carl Friblin, the founder here at White Springs Winery, is a man about town. He's a successful businessman for many years here in the Geneva area and was his prior big business, the one you alluded to earlier, was, what was it, Seedway? He was the owner of Seedway. Seedway, which is a large mm -hmm. seed, what, manufacturing? Seed company. Seed company, and he actually had, you said he planted the vines. Correct. To help deal with the erosion that that business and that farm was experiencing. Correct. Which is kind of an interesting way to get into the yes. wine industry. <laughs> and Carl, for the viewers who aren't aware as well, here as we record this video in mid-2014, is celebrating his? 96th birthday tomorrow. So without a doubt, the old owner we suspect in the Finger Lakes region and maybe the world maybe the world are certainly <laughs> up there in the top 10 all this and it's gotta be remarkably hail yes. and sharp the few times yes. I've had the opportunity to chat he's with him. here every week just about yeah. on Saturday comes in to talk to people that's neat. he loves to meet the customers that's and great. they love to meet him I'm sure well, he's a <laughs> smart his guy picture taken with him. <laughs> yeah, that's cool that I never had to do that myself sometimes. <laughs> yes. so the, so tell us a little bit about some of the wines you're proudest of Jane well, we are proud of the fact that we have something for everybody's taste. If somebody comes into our winery, they can experience the whole variety that the Finger Lakes has to offer. Dry wines from the European grapes, sweet wines from the native grapes. We also have some sangrias, the red and the white sangria. We do a mulled wine, which are special to the area. We do some special blends that are unique to the area. Our happenstance has red and white grape varieties in it. Something very unique. So we offer something for everybody. And last year, as you mentioned earlier in the conversation, you launched your, your beer tasting space here on the, on the facility, in Correct. the facility. Tell us a little bit about the beers you guys have here. We typically have two to three, sometimes four different beer varieties, plus our crafted root beer, which is very popular after people have been on the trail tasting wine and beer all day. They seem to like something sweet and non-alcoholic. But the beer, we usually have a Pilsner or an IPA, Doppelbach, and sometimes we'll have a nice seasonal beer oh, as well. Gotcha, so it does change up with some frequency. It, it changes some. And you have events sometimes here at the facility. We have music, live music, typically every Saturday afternoon from 1 to 4. If it's nice, we have it right out here on the patio. Which is where, to, for the viewers to know, we are standing on the patio. This is the fantastic view they will get when they exactly. come visit here. Bring a picnic lunch. Sure. Bring your lawn chairs and enjoy the day with us. Anything else you want to touch upon? Just enjoy the Finger Lakes. There's a lot that it has to offer. And come by White Springs. We're very friendly. We're very knowledgeable. And we enjoy to see. We enjoy seeing you. All right, Jan Van Allen, Tasting Room Manager, White Springs Winery. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Paul.